talking to Art and some of the players yesterday, and they said it's more of a mental kind of camp, more more so than than physical. How, how has that been for you? Just has it been tough to kind of understand everything? Uh, I feel like I got better, you know, from yesterday to today. Uh, you know, fix some of the mistakes I did yesterday, and that's the goal from those types of camp when it's more mental. Just focus on the mistakes you did the previous day and focus on you know uh, making it right for the next day. I want to get back to the mental thing. You talked about how fast every, how much faster everything is inside, mm -hmm. but how much is the learning curve being mental and, and learning different different techniques and stuff um, from playing inside now? I feel like the senior bowl helped me. So, you know, my thought process coming here, I've already had one experience at guard, so I already knew what to expect coming here. And having, like, the NFL playbook at the senior bowl helped me as well uh, to get prepared here and, you know, for the details and stuff, for the assignments. And, you know, here in the league, you can – Flip plays, do all that, kill plays. So you got to get adjusted to that too because we didn't do that in college. Physically, it's an adjustment too, but just because it's bigger dudes, generally bigger dudes that you're facing, how has that been so far? Uh, you know, bigger, stronger, but, you know, on the edge, guys are, you know, a lot faster. So, you, you know, th what's cool about me is that, like, I'm athletic, but I'm also strong and, you know, kind of big dude. So, you know, it's, transition's been all right. The one thing that college? keeps coming up is I uh, – they say you're mean and nasty uh, out there. Where did you get that from? Uh, it's just natural. I think I was born with it. You know, <laughs> I don't know where I got it from. I just, you know, when I get on the field, it's just a, uh, you know, I just flip a switch and I become mean and mad. <laughs> At what point in college did you start thinking about this being a possible um, landing spot for you in the NFL? Yeah, you mean Atlanta? The position. The, the position. position? Uh, I mean, I didn't know until I got to the senior bowl and they just put, threw me at guard one day. Got to the meeting and like, hey, Bergeron, you got guard. And I just adjusted, went in there, you know, gave gave my best. And I did the same thing when I got here. Uh, when Atlanta picked me, I kind of expected moving inside. And, you know, I, I kept the same mindset. Like, look, I haven't had a lot of experience in it, but I'll just give my best every day and see what that takes me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just a couple of days, but what is uh, Coach Ledford's uh, coaching style like? He's, he's a great dude. He's straightforward, straight to the point. And I feel he's, he's, a, he's a really technical coach. Mm -hmm. So I've been, you know, we've been having a great, great time, and I'm excited you know, going forward with him. How cool is it to have another rookie lineman with you as well? And do you guys kind of like bond trying to get oh, yeah. used to everything? <laughs> yeah, or what's yeah. that been like? No, it's great, you know, having uh, Javon with me, you know, just meetings and stuff, asking questions, because, you know, we're both learning the playbook at the same time. So we can both pick, you know, pick our brains and stuff and just ask questions. And, you know, as the, the camp went on, you know, I feel like we got closer and closer. And he's center. So obviously communication got to be on point as well. We obviously won't know all of the, or you won't have all the pieces here until later with everybody returning. But when you look at what this offense could be, what what do you kind of think about, and how excited is it to to potentially be a part of an offense with all these different weapons that you guys may have? Oh, I'm excited for it. You know, I think at Syracuse we run the ball well. I'm just excited to run the ball. I think that's one of my, you know, best attribute in my game. You know, I'm physical, aggressive, and I feel like the mindset of this team is running the football, and I'm just excited to be a part of it. What's kind of been your like welcome to the NFL moment in this rookie mini camp? Like, has it kind of hit you yet? And what's been the biggest difference for you so far? I mean, those guys across me, and I, all you know, all those guys, you know, they're all talented, and you can't you can't take a rep off. I think that's that's the biggest thing. You know, you gotta give your hundred percent in everything you do, whether it's uh, you know you doing technique with coach or whether you doing you know team, you gotta go hard every every rep. You can't take a rep off because everybody's fighting for a job. You <clears throat> going back to what you said about. Mean and nasty being a natural thing for you. When the veterans are on the field here, um, how does that mix with being a respectful rookie, but but being your your natural mean and nasty self? No doubt, you gotta respect the veterans. You know, I haven't I haven't played a snap in the NFL yet, so you haven't heard nothing. And you know, like I said, I'm just trying to learn from those guys, and I'll follow their pace. But also, I just go hard. You know, when it's my turn, I'll go hard, and but also respect those guys and what they've done for the program. Did you always have that mean and nasty set, or did it come with hockey? Like when you were playing hockey, no, like, was, you learn it a little bit? It was, all, it, it was always, even when I was a kid, you know, I grew up, I was just pushing kids in, in the school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, was, it was just natural always there, yeah. And it, I know you played hockey a little bit growing up. Did, does it translate at all, or did it help you at all, or like I, when it comes to football? I feel like I played a lot of sports growing up, not only hockey, you know, soccer. I played goalie in soccer. You know, I swam a little bit and also played basketball. So I, I, I feel like all those sports helped me, you know, to be the, the football player I am today. The possibilities. I mean, obviously, they took Bijan number one. You get the block for him. He, like, like, think some time, like, wow, that's going to be really cool. You know, they really brought me here to be able to pave the way. Guys like him. No doubt, he's cool. He's he's a great player and he's really humble. You know, I've I've had the chance to talk to him and you know I you know we bonded quickly. And I'm just excited to go out there and block for him. You know, whether it's practice or game. You know, he's a great dude. So I'm definitely grateful to be blocking for him. 
Right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so far, it's been going good. Um, getting to meet all the guys and everything, and um, learning the playbook and stuff like that. Everything's been good. What's been the biggest adjustment for you? Um, nothing big, really. Um, just like the schedule and everything is just like fall camp. So, just nothing really been a big adjustment. Just finding everything here. That's the biggest thing. I know it's only a couple of days, but what were you hoping to kind of prove out there and show the coaches? Um, nothing really, just um, just going out there working. Um, same thing as the guys, um, doing my part, the things that I can do, and just doing whatever they ask. Is it fair to say you have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder coming in, kind of that last draft pick and wanting to, to make a statement? Um, yeah, a little bit, but not really. You know, they drafted me. Um, no matter where they drafted me, uh, I'm going to come in here and still work and do what I'm supposed to do. I know it's early, but what do you think about Bijan? Huh? Oh, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's my roommate right now, so, you know, like, um, but he's a good guy. So you guys are rooming together? Yeah. What have you, I don't know, learned about each other? Who gets up first? That kind of stuff. Some fun rooming? Um, been around the same amount, um, but he's uh, he gets up pretty early. I get up pretty early, so, yeah. Are you guys gamers, or what do you guys do? Um, right now, we've just been tired, so as soon as we get back to the room, everybody pretty much go back to the room, so, yeah. <laughs> oh. when, it, when it comes to playing the, uh, the uh, center spot, like, it's pretty uh, cerebral position. Like, mm. like, what are some of the nuances that you're trying to pick up? Um, just from playing guard, like playing guard, um, I really don't have to make as many calls, things like that. I wait for the mic point, and then from there, I make my calls. From the center, you have to make the mic point, and then calls from there. So that's a little different, just more thinking. Yeah, like on this team, you see lots of versatile offensive linemen. Are you looking forward to this challenge, being able to step in and play center or guard, like no matter what they want? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I'm just here, like, whatever they want to play, guard, um, left guard, right guard, whatever it is they, that they might need from me, I'm just willing to do whatever. Are you a chip on your shoulder guy that you're going gonna to keep that in mind? You write down your draft position or you write down the teams that passed on you? Do you Always been one. Always yeah. been a chip on the shoulder guy, so that's not going to change. No draft, you know, whether I went seventh round or first round, was going to add another chip. I'm that guy that always had one. You're going to write down all the names of the corners that uh, they took in front of you, like um, the receiver from Detroit. I'm a rock, yeah, he's from California too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get on the field, and I plan on playing, and, you know, that's my plan. I'm on the field right now. I just want to play football. I'm glad I'm here. Where's that chip come from? You said you've always had it. Uh, I've always been 5'9". <laughs> yeah. I've oh, always been 5'9", and being a corner at 5'9 is one of the more difficult things, and uh, I'm grateful for it because it's allowed me to keep that chip. Great DB room around you. Uh, you're going to get to play alongside Jeff Okuda and things of that nature. Uh, what does it mean to you to be able to come into this DB room and this defense in general? For me, it's just about coming in and learning, um, taking what I can, you know, from the older guys and just, you know, coming in and getting acclimated, understanding the playbook and doing what I can to help the team win. Being 5'9", do you think that can kind of, I don't know, give you an advantage? Like people look at you and like, oh, yeah, no, I've got this. But you're like, no, 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 no. Like, I'm like, shh. Don't tell them that. <laughs> now, nah, you know, they can take it how they want. And my thing is I'm going to be competitive. I'm going to work my butt off. And I'm always going to approach it with a super serious mindset and, you know, try to dominate the man in front of me. Can you think of a time somebody tried to t you felt like somebody was trying to test you? Or, I, I feel mean, like you can probably think of several. Can you think of one specifically? Uh, not right now. We just finished practice, um, but uh, I can definitely say that it's definitely happened. But I am glad I'm here now, and I and I can guarantee that somebody's going to take you know that that approach going yeah. forward. What's your overall just impression of Bijan and just kind of the versatility that he brings to the offense, and what have you seen from him so far? It's special. A dude like that can you know pretty much do everything, and I'm glad to be on his team. You know, he's a super hard worker, and I'm you know just glad that I'm in here working in the building with him. It's kind of been the biggest adjustment for you, though. Have you had a welcome to the NFL moment uh, going up against the, some of your other teammates now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, day one was yesterday. Day two is today. So everything's kind of new. And for me, it's just getting acclimated. Everything's a little bit sped up, the pace is. And for me, it's just trying to learn the playbook, learn everything, and uh, just get better day by day. What's it like now that you're just fully professional and you don't have to kind of worry about anything else other than, you know, coming to the facility, trying to get better? Is that kind of... Um, does it help you or is it, is it kind of nice to just not have any other distractions at this point? Yeah, nah, I'm glad you mentioned that because I'm a business major. Uh, management and marketing was my was my minor and uh, major, and so I definitely took school serious while I was in it, and I've got a little bit more to finish up. But, yeah, it's great to right now be able to focus on just football because I've never had a time in my life where that was the case, except for now. Humidity. Has anybody uh, told you what it's going to be like late no. July for training camp here? What would you say? You mentioned the humidity. I'm wondering if you've been – Told yeah. what to expect in late July when you're. So I'm glad camp. we're starting now. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad we're starting now, kind of getting acclimated. Let us, you know, young new booty rookies, you know, get used to this thing and just kind of take it all in. 
Uh, being a guy that played in Salt Lake for three years, this is going to be adjustment, you know, either way. So, How much did you play inside in college? Uh, I don't know the exact number, but I played a lot. You know, my last year, a little bit more than um, the two years before that, but uh, so I'm glad that I'm playing both now. You're comfortable in there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you um, uh, give us your take on the, the matchups with Drake London? A lot of us have been going back and looking at uh, those okay, matchups. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nah, um, it was a competitive matchup. Right. It was a competitive matchup. I'm glad that, yeah, humility. I'm glad. <laughs> you see, you see? And I, uh, I'm listening to that. <laughs> Tell us. So it was a uh, it was a t it was a competitive matchup, and I'm glad that I'm here right now. We get to continue to work together and go against each other, and keep on competing. Is it fair to say though, you know, like you said, you had to like go to school and study, mm -hmm. and like you fully now get to focus on football. Is that kind of exciting for you to think about, like if I can just focus on this craft, how much better mm -hmm. I can be? Yeah, that's what that's what I you know, that's what I'm super excited about now. Having all of the time to literally just hone in on football is the most beautiful thing about it, you know. So that's what I'm glad about and I'm excited about because. Uh, yeah, there was never a time in my life where I've been able to just focus on ball. We're going to see what it be. You're talking about the, the competition with Drake on the field. Are you a mm -hmm. trash talker? Were you guys like, you know, I imagine there was some trash talk yeah. going on there, but. Uh, I like to have conversations in games. Conversations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. was going to say, because Bergeron was telling us that he's nasty and he's mm -hmm. mean. What kind of guy are you? Like, describe your game. What are you like out in the field? Do you click on and click off like two different people? Or? Oh, most definitely. I think um, the great ones always have that switch and that ability to be a people person and, you know, be that guy off the field. But get on the field between those white lines, it's a serious thing. And, you know, it's the nitty gritty and it's a grown man's game. So I definitely say uh, I'm that guy that definitely turns up a notch being 5'9 and wanting to turn up with you. And so that's the guy. Is Drake a trash talker? We're going to see. We're going to see. The league is bigger, faster, stronger. Right. right. Your size and how do you feel? How do you feel? What do you, what do you feel is your best asset um, that translates being in the NFL? I think knowledge of the game and um, consistency. Uh, when I say consistency, I'm talking about studying the playbook. I'm talking about knowing the details and also being a just super confident dude. Um, and I think the preparation that I put into the game uh, breeds the consistency. Is there anyone you study or try to model your game after that's currently in the league right now or outside or anyone that's been a mentor to you throughout your career? Uh, there's been a lot of guys, but I, you know, I'm super grateful for you know the mentorship or you know and all the coaches that have poured into me throughout the years. Uh, primarily, the, the guys at Utah, Coach Scally and Coach Shaw, uh, were definitely super influential in my career and um, my trajectory, trajectory, and uh, me being able to be versatile as I am. Now you played in a college conference with a lot of talented wide receivers. Like, how do you think they made you get better? Man, it, it was constant competition. Uh, when you call yourself a great DB, um, you don't become great by just guarding, you know, average guys. And I think by me being able to guard so many guys and everybody for that sake on my team being able to guard so many different guys in our secondary, like it was something that definitely improved our game. And for me, definitely improved my man coverage and zone coverage and made me a more versatile DB.